in KCDW, there's going to be many times when you're designing a job that you have more than one room for that particular job. Well, what you want to do first is, is get your first wall up or your different walls up for the first room. We've named it break room. Once we're done with that, we can go to another room. And the way that we add that is by clicking on this plus sign right here where it'll say add new room and it's going to say room name. Now we're going to call this master bath and we're just going to click OK. And when we do that, it gives us a blank screen. It says master bath at the bottom. I'm going to click on add wall and I'm just going to throw up a couple of cabinets just so that we can have something on this specific uh, room. And I'll come down to, uh, let's go to, let's see, vanity units. Go to vanity sink. Just drag it up here. Maybe a couple other units. And we'll just click OK. Now what we're going to do is, when we want to go to the other room, we just come over to this button that's pink that's got an arrow to the, to the right. And you just click on it. And we go to that other room, which tells us the break room. Click this again. We go to the master bath. Now, when we want to add another room, we just click on this button that adds new room. We give it another name. Maybe it's the uh, a bedroom or maybe a kitchen. It could be anything. Click OK. And we just put our wall up, put our design up. And then that way, when we go to print all our designs, well, we can go to File. We can go to Print Drawings. You're going to notice that you have a floor plan for the break room. But we also have a floor plan, plan for the master bath, the bedroom, and we also have elevations for all these different rooms. Now this is important to keep everything together since if you're doing a cut list or you're pricing the job, you would want to consider all those other units in all the rooms to be priced together and all the parts to calculate together. Now there's another thing you should be aware of. You can always go up to change and excuse me, that would be view. And we want to go to rooms. And you'll notice where it says new room. We could do it that way. We could come to these different rooms. Or we could rename this room by just clicking on it and typing something else. So you can change things after the fact. You just need to know that when you want to change something, you go up to view, go to rooms, and you can just come in here to rename it.